One of the most common questions we get here is how to transfer WhatsApp data from an Android device over to an iPhone. And today, I'm going to help you with that. I'll walk you through two simple, quick and effective methods to transfer your WhatsApp data, your chats, images, videos, and all that from your iPhone, and that's without losing your data or even resetting your iPhone. And so without taking much of your time, yo guys, let's get started. All right, this method is Apple's official method, and that's using the Move to iOS app. This one is great if you've got a brand new iPhone or you don't mind resetting your iPhone to factory settings. Now, I know I mentioned you're not going to reset your iPhone, but this particular method requires that you reset your iPhone or use a brand new phone. The other method doesn't require that. Now, before you start, you have to make sure that your Android device is running at least Android 5, which is Lollipop or newer, and your iPhone has iOS 15.5 or later. And of course, you have the same phone number on these devices. You're moving your SIM from here to the other one. Now, make sure your Android device has Wi-Fi turned on and plug both of these devices into a charger. You know, trust me, you don't want either of these devices dying halfway through. Also check that your iPhone has enough storage for everything you're going to move from the Android device and the external microSD card over to the iPhone. Start by setting up your iPhone and when you get the screen that says transfer your apps and data, tap from Android. You'll see a QR code that pops up, just hold on to that for a second. On your Android device, head to Google Play Store and download the Move to iOS app. Once you've got the app on your smartphone, the Android device, open it, agree to the terms and allow the permissions and then hit continue. Now your iPhone will show you a six digit code Enter the code on your Android device from the Move to iOS app and boom, you're connected. Now here's where you pick what you want to transfer. So the photos, the messages, your contacts, if you don't want to do a manual contact transfer, your Google accounts, WhatsApp and all that. Select what you need, tap allow to give permissions and then hit continue to start the transfer. Now here's the important part. Don't touch anything. Even if your Android device says it's done, leave both devices alone until the loading bar on your iPhone finishes. It might take a while depending on how much stuff you're moving, so grab a cup of coffee or something. Once the transfer is done, tap done on your Android device and on your iPhone, tap continue to finish setting it up. Your data, WhatsApp included, is now on your iPhone ready to go. So this is a solid option, but remember, this only works when you're trying to set up a new iPhone or you're willing to reset your iPhone. Now here's the second method. This method is used when you already own an iPhone and when you don't want to reset your iPhone because you already have a lot of things going on for you, like your photos, settings, you name it. And that's where Mobile Trans from Wondershare comes in. With Mobile Trans, you can create WhatsApp backup on your computer that is then restored on your iPhone without losing anything or resetting your iPhone. And here's how to go about it. You can go to the official website, I'll have it linked in the description box below, download Mobile Trans and install on your computer. I did mine on a Mac. Before you connect your devices to the computer, you need to enable USB debugging. If you haven't done that for your devices, on a Samsung device, you can go into your settings about the phone, tap on software information and tap on the build number about seven times, then go back into settings and you should find developer options at the bottom of the page from here. And you can now enable the USB debugging. For a Google Pixel device, you just have to go into your settings Enter about phone and at the bottom of the page, tap multiple times on the build number till developer options is enabled. Go back and go into system, scroll to the developer options, open it and make sure USB debugging is enabled. For the HMB Skyline, which I use here in this video, go into your settings, scroll and tap on about phone, tap on more, scroll to the bottom and enable developer mode in the same way by tapping on the build number several times. Go back, just like in the pixels, and go into your system settings. Now tap on the developer options, and you should be able to enable USB debugging here. Now over to the iPhone, you have to go into your settings, search for Find My, and tap on Find My Settings. Now disable Find My iPhone from here. It should ask you for your password, go ahead and enter it. Now use your Face ID to authenticate this whole process. Now on your PC or your Mac, after you've launched Mobile Trans apps, select WhatsApp Transfer. Now connect your Android device to your computer and you should detect your smartphone. Connect the iPhone too and you should be able to see it on the other side. From this option here, you can switch back and forth or flip back and forth to change the direction of the backup. But this video is basically trying to transfer from an Android device over to the iPhone. One thing you have to do here is encrypt your chat backup for protection. Go into your WhatsApp settings on your Android device, go into chats, chat backup and enable the end-to-end -end encryption and create a passcode. Make sure you keep it safe. You would be prompted to log into your WhatsApp on your iPhone. You should have it installed, by the way, at this point. Log into WhatsApp on your iPhone, and if there's an iCloud backup like you saw on mine here, you do not need to install that, just skip it. You most likely won't have that. Now the data would be backed up and sent over to the iPhone, and you should see your iPhone reboot. 
That's how simple it is to move your WhatsApp without resetting your iPhone from an Android device. So Mobile Trans from Wondershare is a paid service that has some of its features behind the paywall. The most popular plan here is the $49.99 plan, which is a yearly plan. So if you want a lifetime or one-time payment, they also offer this service for about $65. So whether you go with Wondershare, Mobile Trans, move to iOS, or even exporting chats manually, there's a solution tailored to your needs. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and also do check out this video. YouTube thinks you'll love it. Catch you in the next one. Kawira